Hey YouTube, it's uh, Ben here, Liberty43. Got another video for you today. Um, this one is going to be about kind of tools, pens, and uh, just a little bit of an update from my new EDC that I picked up. So we'll get started here. Uh, first and foremost, I'll talk to you a little bit about the Steve Carroll knife that I got the other day earlier this week. Steve Carroll, as I mentioned, is a kind of newer knife maker out of Rhode Island. And uh, this is his SES folder. I think I, I talked about this the other day in my video. And you can check it out there, S35VN, the titanium clip frame lock here with the Ghost G10. It's got the nice jimping, of course, in it. So I've been EDCing this thing and it's been working out really well. Uh, so not really a follow-up video too much, but just to let you know I'm still carrying that. So. Good little shout out there to Steve Carroll for making that cool knife. Very nice. Uh, of course, what I have here is the Extreme Duty Hinderer pen. This is the aluminum version. I haven't really gotten any uh, attachments for it. I pretty much like it the way it is. Um, I will say though, one of the additions that I've put onto the pen to kind of make it, I'm uh, not gonna say better or anything, but just to make things a little easier is, is you'll notice that I've added the O-ring. Um, I got this used off of USN, so I don't know if it came with the O-ring originally, but you'll see I've installed an O-ring at both ends here. And the O-ring size, I actually picked these up from Home Depot, no big deal, just went there, <clears throat> checked them out, I don't know if I can get it in focus there, the number five O-ring. Pick those up, obviously, for a couple of bucks, you get a bunch of O-rings, but it definitely makes for more secure lockup on either end. But I really like this pen. Um, you know, obviously I'm not using it in a combat situation or anything like that, but I really do like it. I like the color. It's uh, very nice. It's, it's obviously green for those people, you know, who like that uh, green color, USN members, etc. Kind of a nice cool pen. That's where I picked that up from a, from a member. This one right here is the Hinderer Investigator pen. And I did the same thing there. This has the, the pointy tip, which obviously you can remove. This is my EDC all the time. I love this pen. I use it at school. Um, I carry it with me all the time. Um, sometimes I carry both, but traditionally this one goes with me more than, than my other pens. Actually, I do have one other pen here and I'll bring that out as well. I almost forgot it's my Miltac pen. And excuse that pause there. My Miltac pen is kind of special for me. It's the first thing I got off of USN. Uh, it was part of the auction and some guys did a dog pile. This is another one of the pens I like to carry as well. I forgot about that. The only, the only negative about the Miltac pen is that the cap, it doesn't screw on to the back. It, just, it, it rests there it, and it's pretty secure as long as you're not bumping it around. But as you can see, it's kind of getting some wear and tear there. So it would be nice maybe if there were some threads. I don't know how that would work, but this is another pen that I carry as well. So I've got my three pens there. Just a cool little assortment. Nothing too flashy, but I do like the, um, the O-ring edition. And as you can see here, I've got it on both ends. And uh, those are, what is it? That's number 36 O-ring in case you're curious and wanting to go out and check those check those items. Um, the other things you see here, some are new, some are kind of old, some are updated, I guess. Uh, this right here, all of you probably know, is the Tad Skeleton Key, which is really cool. I've never had one before, maybe about, I guess, three weeks ago I ordered it. It was the first thing I ordered from Tad. Uh, it's very cool. Um, made out of solid 6AL-4V titanium billet is what the item says, you know, the, the download from the, the website. I guess the difference between the old one and the new one, uh, the different eyes, and also here, they have a nice little opening so that you can put a, you know, if you want to put it on your key ring or put a lanyard through it, just another opening here at the top. A friend of mine has one of the older versions and it doesn't have that opening, so that's kind of cool. Of course, it also has the uh, spanner tool for Strider, which is really nice, so for my SNG. You also have, of course, the bottle opener and the pry bar. Um, you know, I knew it was titanium, obviously, ordering it, but when I got it, I was surprised just how light it was. And it's a very cool tool. I have not had occasion to use it yet, 
Um, I, in fact, I just put this lanyard. Obviously, you can see I'm not really uh, proficient at lanyard making in any way, manner, shape, or form. So I'm kind of experimenting there. But I want to start EDCing this item uh, just because it's it's very cool. It, it looks cool. Uh, it feels nice in the hand. Um, it's just a very high quality pocket tool. Uh, it comes with a high price tag, but at the same time, it definitely has the cool factor. I like the skeleton right there. It's very flashy and very nice. Now this, on the other hand, this is uh, not so flashy. It kind of goes to the opposite end of the spectrum, but very cool. I picked this up um, off of the forums again, USN. Uh, there was a guy by the name of Ben Tendick. So Ben, if you're watching, very thank you very much for this tool. And he is based out of Eugene. This, I'll give you some specs first. This is you know straight from, from the source here. Uh, overall length, two and a half inches. The material is 0 0.140 inch thick, 6AL, sorry, 6A14V, I believe is what I'm reading here, titanium. Uh, I'm not a titanium expert, so if I, if I mess that up, I'm sorry. Uh, he has a flame anodized one and a stone wash. I opted for the stone, stone wash. And, um, you know, I ordered it on the form. Boom, it was at my house in just a couple of days. As you can see, uh, this is his first run. He also makes knives. And you can check him out, of course, on Facebook. And if you go to um, his wife website, uh, check out BTR Knives. Really nice guy. Uh, very quick service. Uh, you can see it's got a bottle opener, a mini pry bar. I guess you could almost use it as a uh, screwdriver as well for a flathead. Really nice workmanship, nice price, and a very cool guy. So Ben, if you're watching, thank you once again for that item. I love it. And I just put this on here too. I got this actually from, um, I think from a, a guy I, I sold a knife to, we did a trade, I can't remember, but eh, just kind of a cool little skull there and threw that on. So once again, not really proficient with the lanyard making, but I thought it would look nice. So there you go on that one. Now the other item I have, is something that um, I've really grown to love and this is the pickpocket and once again this is another person uh, that I found on uh, I think USN uh, it's just some stats here this weighs about six grams uh, as opposed to a key which weighs about 10 grams and it comes in a variety of finishes stone wash hand anodized I think he's gonna do some Mokutai and Damascus as well um, as you can see it does have a bottle opener it's a little bit sharp here but you know, not really a big deal. Uh, and at first I thought, oh, this is really cool. I'll order one. Am I really gonna use it? Am I not gonna use it? I ended up using it all the time. And I have a clump of keys. I just got junk all over the place. Uh, from my first EDC video, you know, I've got my cigar cutter from Zycar. I've got a uh, 16 gig flash drive. I got keys all over the place. This thing is so cool. It either loops on your belt and you can check out his videos, look up Pickpocket on USN you'll see them uh, but it also can sit in your pocket it rides really nice and it just keeps that clump from forming down at the bottom of your pocket it really is a functional little tool I really love it I love it so much I ended up getting another one for my other clump of keys and you can see this one has got that nice kinda hand anodized look going there very cool another clump of keys here with my uh, Avo cutter and my uh, Leatherman Micra little mini tool. I don't own any Atwoods dot 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 yet. Uh, that's something, of course, that'll be coming in the future. You know, they're all over the place, and I, I haven't had the, the luck or the opportunity yet to get some. I know, uh, you know, the Pry Baby and, and all the different types that are out there, and they look really cool. So that's something else I'm going to start looking into as well. And you know, once you start going, of course, it's like a, a disease here where you can't stop. So that's just a little bit of an update on the Steve Carroll folder, the SES folder that I told you about the other day. If you checked out that video, you've got, of course, the TAD, the BTR, the Hinder Pens, the Miltac right there, uh, and of course, the pickpockets, which are all very cool. So if you get a chance, check those out. I've used the bottle cap opener. It does work. Uh, he did spend a lot of time uh, working on that to make sure that it was fun functional, that it had the correct uh, geometry, as he said in his um, information. So check them out. Check all those guys out. Uh, really cool products, but just part of my EDC. Thanks for watching. Keep the shiny side up and talk to you all soon.